From football to the farm, former Raven Jason Brown, once the highest paid center in the league, decided to leave one field behind and move to another, starting first Fruit Farm. It's in his home state of North Carolina, learning how to work the land from scratch. And now all the produce that he and his family grow goes to people in need. And so far, they've donated more than half a million pounds. Jason, thanks so much for, for taking time with us. I guess my first curiosity is, you played football for years, and I'm sure through college and the NFL. How close to a farm had you ever come before having this farm of your own? So not close at all. Uh, grew up around a, a lot of farms, but, but never actually uh, you know, farmed myself in, in my youth. You made a good point. I was listening to another interview you, you, you did, and you said this was a real calling for you. Describe that. So, so the thing is, you know, so many people, uh, especially athletes, um, they, they tell us to think about our careers post football, you know, what you're going to do in the second chapter of your life. And, you know, for me, I, I thought I was going to be wearing a, a suit just like you are right now, carrying around a briefcase, you know, possibly doing business. I had no idea that, that I would wake up every single day on a farm and, and, and get out there and in, in a field and get dirty. Uh, <laughs> but that, that's where the work is done right now. And so you learned how to do this. You, you had this farm. You, you figured out how to make farming work. You even got your family involved. I saw pictures of your kids out there. And, and, and you're creating this pipeline where you, 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 you grow the food, and now you're giving it back to the community. Just walk us through that process of from farm to the table of people in need. Sure. So uh, a lot of people, when we think about hunger, of course, we think about third world countries. But there's a lot of need right in our own backyards, uh, food insecurity. Uh, whereas in here in North Carolina, one in six children, in some counties, one in five children don't know where their next meal is going to come from. And, and of course, um, it's sad to say uh, up and down the East Coast, I know some of those numbers are very similar in, in the uh, Baltimore and D.C. metro area. And, and so there's a tremendous need for, for us to have a grassroots effort especially on farms. That's where all food comes from. It just doesn't show up in the grocery store and not on the dollar menu, but all food comes from farms. And so I'm thankful that, that God called me from a football field to a farm field. Getting into this, I mean, was this sort of like your nest egg that you used to spend on the farm? How, how did you get to the point where you have such a huge operation? So, so now it is a large operation, but, but here's the miracle right here is that um, most of it is done by the help of, of volunteers, mm. people from the community uh, that come out and, and give in service. They, they give the best from their hearts. And we have thousands of, of unique visitors that come to our farm every single year with a smile on their faces, okay, uh, to, to help us to, to sow the seeds, cultivate uh, in the middle of the summertime, pull weeds, and then, of course, in the end, there's an awesome harvest. You mentioned two words that I think are connected well to the story, heart and smiles. And I'm curious of what it's, the feeling is like for you uh, when you have this opportunity to see people who were in need and you're able to provide for that need. So I, I always wanted to give back. Um, and so many people, they, they try and find a, a way that they can possibly do so. When, when I played for the Ravens in Baltimore, I was very active in the community. Um, but but right now it it, it takes on a, a totally different form uh, when now this is your lifestyle okay that this is something that you're a part of and that you're doing every single day um, but I'm encouraged knowing that I, I can make a difference and I'm surrounding myself with so many other people uh, that, that are like-minded and not not just talking about it but but actually getting out there and, and being the legs and the feet and, and getting the work done. Last question for you before we go. If there are folks here in Baltimore who may recognize your face or your game or just see uh, what you're able to do now, is there a way that they can help or give? Definitely. Um, if not support our ministry here in North Carolina, there's something that you can do right there uh, in, in Baltimore. Um, you can start a garden, okay? Everybody can, can sow a seed and, and give back in a unique way to help make sure that, that we're fighting hunger and, and food insecurity. A worthy cause. Jason Brown, thank you for the time this morning. We appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. God bless. Have a good one.